But if we, Ukraine's close allies, have a better idea about their plan, then we're in a better position for us to be able to plan how we can support not just the immediate provision of help, uh, but the long-term production. Not just the immediate sort of training of their troops, which we will do, but how do we equip them for the future to be a, a, a force that can protect themselves in, in the future. So uh, I see this uh, meeting in the United Nations and the potential contribution of President Zelensky is promising as defining for this next period ahead. Victory for Ukraine uh, is defined in the terms for them, but it is absolutely preventing Putin from prevailing. And I think the, 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 focus, the focus for us, and it has been over the two months or so since the election, has been twofold. First of all, making sure that we not only continue the staunch UK support for Ukraine, but step that up, and we've done that in a number of ways. But second, to recognise that we need to do more than simply provide the military support, and that we are announcing today the setting up of a joint Foreign Office and MOD unit, specialist unit on Ukraine, it's partly a reflection of the joint work that David Lamy and I have done in and on Ukraine uh, and jointly in the two departments. But its importance is that it signals for a UK government and it's more widely what we need to do is military, economic, industrial, diplomatic. Ukraine needs our support on a number of fronts and we've not been doing that.